stopping the cycle before it starts. That's what the city of Rockford is trying to do when it comes to sex trafficking. 13 News reporter Lauren Baker shows us how it's doing that with a special program. As Audrey Morrissey says, her life story involves two different lives. Well, my pimp wasn't a stranger, right? He was someone I went to high school with. For the Boston native, one life experience as a victim of the cycle of sexual exploitation and another as a survivor, advocate, and teacher. I dedicate my life to this work. Why? Because I am a survivor of the commercial sex industry. Her dedication, along with others, led to the nationwide program called My Life, My Choice, where advocates and survivors try to prevent sex abuse before it starts. And now it's making its way to Rockford. Uh, talking to teachers, again, talking to juvenile probation, talking to courts, and talking to parents. We know this is happening in our community. To stop sex trafficking and exploitation, the Rockford Alliance Against Sexual Exploitation or RACE and the Juvenile Enhanced Response Team are using this program to educate advocates about prevention. Prevention includes connecting young girls and women with survivors to help them better understand what to do if they are confronted with a sex trafficking situation. Uh, we have known for years that it's happening in our schools, in our homes, on our streets, and so uh, we absolutely needed to get about the problem. Survivors like Morrissey say helping young girls will not only prevent some from getting into the lifestyle, but also help those who are already stuck in it. Women do recover. We do recover, and I'm a prime example of that. For your 13 Weather Authority, Lauren Baker, 13 News. Race in the city of Rockford are working to start using this curriculum in Lincoln Middle School starting next year.